So let's go back to our floor plan view and we're gonna go ahead and start drawing our cold water piping over this way and over across to kind of hit all of our fixtures. So to do that, we just click on the piece of pipe. We can right click, draw a pipe, and we're just gonna draw it straight up over here and we'll just draw it straight across over here, something like that. Now you can see that the line type has already been set and that's because I'm using this special system called cold water and that comes right from my template file. So I've already set up all the line styles that you'll need for your project. So it's really good to have this stuff already set up so that you don't have to do it every time you start a new project. I also have all these pipe tags for you guys to use as well. So when we go back to our floor plan, you can see the line types are working perfectly. If we wanna change those, we would go to piping systems up here, edit type, and under graphic overrides, you can see I already have this pattern that I imported in called CW. And if we click that, you can kind of see the CW cold, uh, cold water pattern that I've imported in. You can also see that down here, I have a hot water and a hot water return pattern as well. So all that stuff is already set up if you, if you decide to get the template. So you can also see that I've preset the abbreviation as CW for cold water. So if we want to go ahead and start tagging our pipe, we go to annotate tag by category, and we can just start tagging. Now this is not the right tag I wanna use. I actually don't want a leader, and I want it to display that abbreviation. Now I need to go into my tags right here and make sure that the correct pipe tag has been selected for use. So if you see right down here, pipes and pipe placeholders, Right here, we're using this pipe size tag. Now that's the default tag that Revit has, but I wanna use my custom one. So you can see down here, I have two custom pipe tags, one that says pipe size tag. So it's all caps. So we're gonna go ahead and click this one and we're gonna click okay. And that sets the default to this one that actually displays the system abbreviation, which is very helpful. So that looks great. And we can also tag it right here and we can also tag it right here, but I'm not gonna tag it everywhere because we don't wanna go crazy. So this is looking great. Now I have my cold water all the way across my building. And so I wanna start kind of connecting everything together. So we're gonna actually start with the showers. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adding some showers. So let's zoom in on this part of our project. And let's also kind of put the 3D view, like we'll share or split the screen with the 3D view. So we'll just drag that across here, right there, and it snaps. And then we'll kind of move this over. So we're kind of split screening it. To something like this. That looks great. So let's go ahead and start um, adding some fixtures over here. So let's go to systems, plumbing fixture, and we're going to click the drop down and we're going to start typing in shower. Now you can see in caps, I have a shower and tub fixture. So these are showers that are public for public use. So we're going to click and you can see I have my little shower head symbol. Now if I, don't, I want to rotate this, I hit the space bar and you can see my little fixture rotates and we're just gonna put my shower fixture right behind this one, just like that. Now you can't really see it and the reason why we, you can't see it is because the, the fixture that's in the architectural file is covering it up. So how do we fix that? Well, if we go to our visibility graphics, VV, we can go down to plumbing fixtures and we can just set the transparency to 100%. So let's click that and set it to 100 and click OK. And now you can see our fixture shows up. Now we can't really see our fixture that well. Let's turn on the thick lines because the other one's kind of distracting it. So maybe we want to do set everything to half tone so we can really tell what's ours and what's the architect's. So I'm going to go to VV again and we're gonna to go to Revit links and I'm gonna set the architectural model. So everything in the architectural model, let's set it to a half tone in an underlay and click okay. And now you can see the architect stuff is in that faint gray color and our stuff shows up in that bold color. And that's exactly what we want. Now we didn't have to set the plumbing fixtures transparent. So I'm gonna undo that real quick. So let's go back to plumbing fixtures and I'm just gonna, Instead of making it 100%, I'm actually gonna get rid of that and hit okay. And you can see our stuff still shows up over top.